I hate everything. This is like my fourth time trying to record this video. Um, I'm actually just starting to get upset. <laughs> like, this is what? Take four? Anyway. How's it going, everyone? Your today is here. And today we're going to talk about my top 10 anime of winter 2022. Um, yeah. I swear. I swear. The last take got an interruption by last pass of all things. I'm going to explode. I am. Anyway, number 10. Orient. <laughs> Fuck's sake. As I was saying before LastPass decided to interrupt me. Last take. Orient does have a part 2 of season 1 that is... Um, I believe next season. Usually I avoid... Or at least I try to. I'm sure I don't actually avoid it. I try and then there's just not enough good anime. That's, that's usually what happens. Anyway. Number 10 is Orient. We're just going to go with it. Number 9. It's Princess Connect Redrive Season 2. Um, yeah. Um... This is uh, one of those anime where I hope for another season. But I understand if it doesn't get a third season. Just because, you know. Not because it's bad or anything, obviously. But, you know. Just because of, like, how season two ends. I'm sure there's more story to it. But, like, if we don't get, like, a season three, I get it. If we do. Yay! Anyway, number eight. Slow Loop. What can I say? It's just about people having fun. So, yeah. It's just nice, wholesome slice of life. I, I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, number seven. Miss Kuroitsu from the Monster Development Department. Funnily enough, this is an anime that um I wasn't originally going to watch. But I was like... I don't get it, but you know what? Let's give it a shot. And as we can see, it turned out great. Which is why you get some seasons where I'm watching 32 anime. Like this one. Anyway, number... Uh, this one as in spring. Number six. This case study of Vinitas, part two. Um, yeah, I really dislike this habit that uh, the industry has gone in. Where we split one season. Because they did that with Slime Season 2 as well. We split it into Part 1, Part 2. And then there's like a blank season in the middle. It it, it kind of... Jars you a bit. But hey. Uh, whatever. Anyway. um, Number 5. How a realist hero built the uh, rebuilt the kingdom, part two. Again, um, yeah, yeah. I, I really wish they would stop with these part twos, but they're gonna keep going. I, I feel like the part twos, like the part one, part two, is because of uh, the human malware. So uh, we will uh, extend our condolences to the workforce uh, for having to. Work from home and being forced to split up your hard work into two parts for the consumer to not enjoy. <laughs> number four? Or is this number three? Hold up. Nope, it's number four. Number four! In the land of Leedale. Uh... Okay, I'm going to re preface this by saying a lot of people dislike Isekai because it's I reincarnated into another world and suddenly I have omnipotence. Um, reincarnation to another world, kind of, sort of. Omnipotence, also kind of, sort of. She worked hard for it, though. It's not all of a sudden. I'm going to preface it by saying this. She actually works hard. We find this out in the first episode. Not really a spoiler. Um... Oh, also, uh, it literally says in the synopsis. Uh, so, 
So hey, anyway, number three. Uh, I'm. I don't know what just happened, but number three, the strongest sage with the weakest crest. Uh, you've heard Iskai being otherworld, right? This does have reincarnation, but it's not another world. He time hops. So it's not Isekai, but I know a lot of people claim it like, oh, it's Isekai because he did this. No, it's by the very definition of the word Isekai, it's not Isekai. But yeah, number three is the strongest. Say you, you, you get, you get where, where, what this anime is about from the title. Anyway, number two. The Genius Prince's Guide to Raising a Nation Out of Debt. I swear, I don't think this is supposed to be a comedy, but it ends up being a comedy. No, it's supposed to be a comedy, okay. But yeah. Now, before we move on to number one, and we end this video, I gotta give some honorable mentions. To Demon Slayer Entertainment District Arc, which started in December and ended, like, four weeks into the season. <laughs> and another anime that ended this season, but only, um, again, within the first, like, four weeks. It was last year's Recure, Tropical Rouge Precure, is the other honorable mention for this season. Um, there are a bunch of other really amazing anime, um, but because... Uh, they're not, they don't make the list quite yet, uh, even with honorable mentions, because I don't want this anime to be, not this anime, this list to be uber long, it would be like 16 anime long, realistically, and that's just too much, but yeah, them's the honorable mentions, uh, Demon Slayer, Entertainment Destroyer, and Tropical Rouge, a Precure. Now, number one! Realistically, we all know what number one's gonna be if you know me well enough. Uh, number one is Yashahime, Princess Half Demon, the second act. Hanyo no Yashahime, Sengoku Oto, Gizoshi Nino Sho, in Japanese. It is the, as of now, just second half of uh, Yashahime. I. I. Okay. We don't have any confirmation of a season three even being in the works, let alone about to be announced. And that hurts me on a fundamental level because Yashahime is actually good. Yashahime, the main characters, stand on their own feet. They accomplish things. And that only gets 48 episodes. Whereas Boruto, Naruto Next Generations, which is just... Boruto does not stand on his own so far in the anime, uh, and it just kind of missed hard in in regards to everything. It's like 200 episodes, and still going. I'm going to get a lot of flack for that, but Boruto is trash, and I say this as someone who enjoyed Naruto as a kid. In that same vein, I enjoyed Inuyasha as a kid. And this is in every way a perfect next generation anime to Inuyasha. There is no previous gen people getting weird nerfs. No one from the previous gen is being erased from existence. The current generation are actually able to accomplish everything. And the power levels aren't all wonky and shit. This is the definitive next-gen anime when it comes to, you know, like, a second generation of sorts. Now, we are getting a Shaman King next-gen anime um, called Flower. Will it be a, a second coming of Boruto? Absolute dookie butt cheeks. Or will it be a second coming of Yashahime? Where it's actually enjoyable, just as, if not more so, as the OG Shaman King. Who knows? But that is where I'm going to end it here. Uh, tell me what you guys um, thought of my list. Tell me your list. Tell me your top five, top ten, top one. 
<laughs> if you only watch like three anime, top three. Tell me your list uh, of the top anime of winter 2022. As always, the rules are it just has to end somewhere within the winter season. Preferably not in the first half, of course, but, uh, you know. So anyway, do be like that because of weird scheduling, but hey, it is what it is. Anyway, that's good for this video. If you guys haven't already, hit like, hit subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys next time, and as always, stay bright.